or high. Reims, the city and the commune in the northeast of France located in Department Marne in the region Grand Est. Up to 2016, date of a land reform in France, entered the region Champagne, Ardennes where was the most multi-inhabited city, without being at the same time either the department prefecture or the capital of the region. The city of Chalon and Champagne was it. Totaling 183,113 inhabitants as of 2016, Reims is the 12th largest city in France. Reims is called the City of Crownings, or the City of Kings, as on the place where Reims Cathedral was built later, the Apostle of Frank Saint Remedy baptized the King Ludwig of Ion in the same place subsequently, throughout more than ten centuries, the great number of kings of France, starting with Louis I Blagachestevi in 816 was crowned and up to Charles X in 1825. Besides a cathedral church, important historical sites and city facades in style of Art Deco are considered as property of Reims. Besides, the city is well known for various cultural actions. Reims is included in the national list French Corridor of Arts and Stories, and in his territory four objects which UNESCO included in the list of World Heritage Sites are located. Sparkling champagne which way of production was open in the Middle Ages is historical advantage of economy of Reims. The city is located at the western border of the area of calcareous soils of Champagne, on the plain, on the right river bank Val. Inflow of the Enna River. Along with it, the city is very favorably located at an edge of the Parisian basin, on crossing of transport routes Paris, Strasbourg and the North Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, at the same time in close proximity to Germany, Belgium and Luxembourg. Reims is in borders of the so-called Big East of France, in the northwest of Department Marne and in the west of the region Champagne Ardennes. This city is located between Paris and Germany, on the southern borders of a so-called European megalopolis. Reims is at distance about 130 came from Paris, 157 came from Metz, 168 came from Lille and in 282 came from Strasbourg. Within the region, Reims is at distance of 25 came from the city of Epron, in 107 came from the city of Troyes, in 41 came in the northwest from Chalon and Champagne and in 75 came in the southwest from charleville mezier According to Kiopin's classification, climate of Reims, moderately warm with uniform moistening. Atmospheric air warm and damp, winters can sometimes have sharp character, some are usually dry, but sometimes with thunderstorms. The volume of insulation is 1705 hours a year and it is necessary, mainly, for summer months. The annual volume of rainfall is estimated at 600 form, in a year 122 rainy days are observed on average. During the well-known European hot summer of 2003 in Reims the minimum daily temperature of 21.3 C was registered on August 13, and on August 12 the record of the maximum temperature made 39.3 C. The first indicator was exceeded on August 20, 2009 when the minimum daily temperature was 21.9 C. Record values on the level of rainfall were recorded on July 4, 2006, 69.2 of rainfall and on May 24, 2007, 57.8. The first traces of presence of the person near Reims go back to eras of the Neolithic and Copper Age. The end of the three millenary B.C. In these regions at excavation ballot boxes of the period of a Bronze Age were found. 
in the valley of the Vau River signs of very dense population in the period of the Iron Age are found. At the same time on the place where now actually there is Reims, it is revealed very few traces of existence of the person dated by those eras. Upper Dome of Ancient Reims, who was settling down in the territory of modern communes Vericur and Condesersi within Picardy was considered as the main settlement of nation of Rem. However by 8th year B.C. During a construction of an Oppidum Dura Quarter, it was moved on lands where subsequently Reims will be founded. The name Dura Quarter on the Celtic adverb is meant by the round stronghold. On other sources, the name comes from the Gallic words Dura, the tower or water, and court, bowery, meaning the bowery at water or near a tower. The name Dura Quarterum. And according to the Greek historian Strabo, Dura Cortora became his toponym, according to commentary D. Bello Gallico by Julius Caesar. Today there are no data allowing to understand the Dura Quarter before coming of Romans as Gallic language was transferred only orally represented. However, it is known that it was considered as the last civilized city in the northern direction. In response to approach of armies of Julius Caesar to Gallian nations of Belg united to reflect this invasion, Reims decided not to enter into this coalition and became allies of Romans. They sent towards two Romans of two delegates for negotiating, having supplied them with rich gifts. Reims tried to convince to follow themselves, fellows of Suecian with which they had the general control system and legislations, however these attempts were unsuccessful. In the 57th year B.C. Belg attacked on Rem of Bybrix. Ancient Lang. Troops of Romans came to the rescue of the Allies, and Belg were put to flight. Further nation of Suecian was subordinated to Reims. During this period of the territory of Rem stretched from the Seine River to the Marne Rivers and Maas. In the 53rd year B.C. Caesar called Concilium Gallia in Dura Quarterum for a condemnation of a plot of nations of Senon and Carnot. Reims remained faithful to Rome throughout Gallic Wars, and Romans considered Dura Quarterum the allied city, keeping its independence. Instead of alliance with Rome, the city received privileges to keep the legislation, religion and a control system. At Octavian Augustus the territory of Rem was included in the province of Bulgica and Durocorterum became its capital. At the time of the late Roman Empire the protective city wall was put up and the square of the city in a fortification became significantly less. 35 hectares. Two invasions of the German nations, in 357 and in 366, were reflected still before the enemy reached Reims. However, in 406 vandals occupied the city and plundered it. Residents tried to take refuge in Christian church, and on its threshold the diocesan Saint Nicosi was beheaded. In 451 the city was attacked by Huns. The Christianity became stronger in the middle of the 3rd century here, the first sermons were made still by a diocesan 60, and the first Christian cathedral was erected in the 4th century. But only in the 5th century there was a church on the place which occupies the temple, near a complex of structures of the episcopate now.
Saint Remigi also contributed in strengthening of Christianity on lands of Rem in 5 and 6 centuries. As a diocesan of Reims, he conducted negotiations on submission of Reims of Ludviga, on the place where now there is Saint Nicosia's church. In one of Christmas days between 496 and 506 years, Ludwig was baptized Saint Remigi in a cathedral church of Reims. It is traditionally considered to be that the baptism took place on December 25, 496. However, according to new researches, it is more probable that this event took place in 498 or 499. According to Grigory Tursky, passed a baptism of 1300 warriors of Franks on the same day. On a legend, Saint Ramaji made anointing by the world Lodviga from Steklianitsa's saint which to it was brought by an angel in an image of a pigeon. According to this procedure of Christianization of the King of Franks all kings of France starting with Louis VII and finishing Charles X, excluding only Henry IV, passed a crowning ceremony in Reims which was hosted, as a rule, by the Archbishop of the city. During an era of Morovian, Reims was one of two capitals of Austrasia, however in 511 the King Theodoric I finally placed the yard in Metz, owing to its more central location. In 719 Reims strongly suffered from invasion of the mayor of the palace Karl Martel. Many monuments bearing to majesty and well-being of Reims during the Gallo-Roman era were destroyed. In 804 Charles the Great met the Pope Lev III here. In 1000 the Archbishop of Reims, Herbert Aureliakski, was elected the Pope under the name of Sylvester II. In 1143 the city tries to obtain some privileges which soon will select added back. The city council in Reims appeared at the time of Centenary War. After defeat of the French in fight at Crecy in 1346 and also after defeat at Poitiers in 1356, and captures of the King John II in all territory of France deep confusion set in. All well-founded cities of the kingdom were embraced with fear and attended to the defence. For bigger protection began to form city institutions. In Troyes, for example, in 1358 inhabitants created the uniform municipal government. Reims followed this movement too. According to P. Wherein the new period of history of the city is near Ashavina there was a second managing body, city council opened. In June, 1358 residents of Reims called six honorable citizens who acquired the right to run the city. On September 9, 1358 in the message this event was confirmed to the cantor of the kingdom and the administrators elected by the people were recognized. Centenary War provided constancy of existence of city councils up to our days. Protection of the city was the main task of city council first only. At the time in city council there was no organizational crushing on departments yet, but despite it during centenary war the authority of city council arose, began to reckon with it. Upon termination of the centenary war in the city big construction works on repair of a belt of city strengthenings began. The Reformation start of motion in Reims is noted in 1559 when friends became arenas of the quarrels arising during the public meetings. To Reims there arrived famous then Theodore of Bas. Pressure of Roman Catholic League was very considerable owing to participation of the House Gazov who was very influential in these regions thanks to the Archbishop Rimsky Karl Lutherinsky. They contributed in strengthening of godliness according to the resolution of Tridensky Cathedral.
In 1547 the Pope Pavel III gave the consent to formation of the Rimsky University which was opened in 1548 by the Cardinal of Lorraine who received the consent of the King. Also the college was open where began training with art education, then trained in theology, and then the right in medicine. In 1567 the theological seminary was open. Jesuits also had educational institutions in Reims. In 1562 after slaughter in Massy the new period of opposition between Roman Catholics and Protestants began. Even in spite of the fact that armed conflicts were rare, the troops plundering Champagne urged citizens to be behind city walls. The Roman Catholic League strengthens the influence over the city under the influence of Louis Lotharingsky and Antoine de Saint Paul, at the same time Chalon, under the leadership of Joachim de Dantavillier, remains faithful to the King Henry III. However Reims as a result turned into submission to Henry IV who, it is necessary to notice, passed a crowning ceremony in Chartres, and the lock at Mars Gate was destroyed as was a symbol of Roman Catholic League. One another was followed by the stirrings lifted by princes of the Sedan and Dukes of Lorraine up to the conclusion of the Liverdansky Agreement in 1632. War with Spain and the subsequent to it opposition caused a new wave of the disorders which devastated Champagne, but the city militia could protect from loss of life, but not from poverty. Louis XIV's crowning gave hope which became stronger after the conclusion of the Pioneer world in 1659 to the French. At this time the city received additional space, and in Reims large construction campaigns were launched. Since 1757 the royal area thanks to efforts of engineers Daniel Charles Trudina and Jean Gabrielle Alejandra is under construction. In 1627 the city hall opens. The Palace of Archbishops built in 1498 and College of Jesuits became other bewitching constructions of Reims. Reims attracted foreign dealers in the four fairs for most of which the Paschal Fair at Cutier Square was well known. Where traded in leather, wool, linen, hemp. On what the family Colbert made the fortune. The University of Reims was the large center of training of people of a new formation. From its walls there were Brissa, Cuton, Danton, Petian, Prior Marne, Seen Just. At the university new courses of lectures, for example on mathematics in 1745, according to the drawing in 1748 in the city hall, a course on a Roderus Russian in 1774 and anatomy in 1779 of Dr. Robin and a course of lectures in Pilot de Rosy's chemistry in 1780 opened. The deputies from Reims directed Bulyazi owing to the fervor weren't prone to compromises. In Reims there didn't take place any significant events of the Great French Revolution, the big shortage of products because of which Hungary Rebellion broke out on March 11, 1789 was noted here, then in the winter of 1793-1794 large requisitions were carried out here and speculators were caught, and the next winter wasn't endured by about a third of citizens from poor layers. According to the decree about church property religious buildings were offered for sale and Reims Cathedral was turned into a warehouse of fodder forages. Sacred Stekli and Itza it was destroyed, and St. Remigius Hallows were set publicly fire on the city square. The constitutional pure Jules Armand Saren fraudulently could save a part of this relic.
September murders claimed the lives of nine residents of Reims who were executed on September 3, 1792 by the Parisian volunteers who joined revolutionary troops in a Prussian military campaign. During the revolution the guillotine in Reims worked four times. The beginning of the 20th century was noted by important achievements in aeronautics which made of Reims a cradle of world aircraft. Some of the next events were organized on the plane to the north from Reims where presently Reims, Champagne Air Base 112 is located. On September 21, 1901, on the parade ground 1350 meters long and 800 meters wide the ceremony of closing of Big East maneuvers at which the Russians are Nicholas II, in the presence of the President of the French Republic Emile Loup, organized a review of troops, a little more than card people was held. The first in world history air flight was executed by Henry Farman on October 30. 1908 on the site between the suburb Chalon and Champagne and Reims. 27 kilometers. The first big week of aircraft in Champagne which passed from August 22 to August 29, 1909. The first international meeting of pilots. The second big week of aircraft in Champagne which passed in July, 1910. A competition of military airplanes in Reims in October and November, 1911. One more world premiere. And also the International Cup of High Speed Aircraft of Gordon Bennett which passed from September 27 to September 29, 1913 on which the record of speed was set by Prevo from Reims minus 203 km per hour. The garrison of Reims considerably increased at the end of the 19th century ministered the place of quartering of a set of military units. In the 20th century the garrison totaled about several thousands of soldiers placed in numerous barracks. Colbert's barracks, Joan of Arc's barracks, barracks of New Chadel. In 2009 the possibility of demolition of the only remained Colbert's barracks was seriously considered. Invalid. However many residents of Reims opposed demolition. Considerable part of Reims was destroyed in the years of World War I. Since September 4, 1914 Reims Cathedral was exposed to shelling. This day Germans entered Reims and occupied it up to September 13. These days already French shells fell upon a monument. The French returned the city to themselves after the first fight on Marne. The most fierce shelling, this time German, took place from September 17 to September 19. The construction woods established for restoration of a northern tower of a facade partly became the reason of ignition of a roof of a big nave and an apse. Numerous stained glass windows and sculptures laid in ashes. Also one of the most known sculptures of Reims Cathedral, the Smiling Angel, suffered. The beam which fell down it beat off to it the head. The image of the spoiled angel which is brightly bearing to vandalism of Germans became the powerful tool of the anti-German propaganda, and the sculpture turned into one of symbols of the city. Reims Cathedral suffered during the further German firings lasting up to 1918 even more. 300 shells fell to it in total. By the end of war in Cathedral only the main building constructions survived after firings. Besides shelling Reims was exposed to constant air raids. Escaping from the German bombs, inhabitants were urged to hide in cellars, catacombs and even in wine cellars. The city also suffered affliction from the German chemical attacks. In October, 
1915 as a result of a gas attack on the French positions which are near Reims, the poisonous cloud reached the city and caused poisoning among citizens. To completion of war the city was destroyed more than for 60%, like the cathedral church, and there were in it no more than 1500 people. Reims the Marta City during that era became a symbol of all France. After war in society a broad debate was developed, it is worth keeping earlier traces of military destructions. The most fierce discussions were around Reims Cathedral Church. A part of citizens wished to leave cathedral in the destroyed look to immortalize the memory of horrors of war, other part of society wanted to restore a monument. Defeated the second opinion, and reconstruction was entrusted the architect Henry Dino. After 20 years of recovery work the cathedral was repeatedly consecrated on October 18, 1937 by the Cardinal and the Archbishop of Reims Emmanuel Swore in the presence of the President of the Republic Albert Lebrun. Restoration became possible in many respects thanks to the American offerings among which there were Carnegie and Rockefeller's funds. In the 1928 years Reims becomes the center of the important literary movement The Big Game, which was excited by René Dommel and Roger Gilbert Leckant. In the city at the time there was already a set of cultural and entertaining institutions among which there were seven movie theaters, two cabarets. Concerts were regularly arranged in an arbor of the Plat du Parc. In the Bolshoi Theater of Reims operettas and other statements were put. World War II On June 11, 1940 the German troops entered Reims. It were divisions of the 45th Infantry Division of Wehrmacht. Together with occupation requisitions, a rationing system of distribution of products, arrests and executions of citizens came to the city. After Reims appeared under control of Nazis, the unusual ban struck minds of citizens. For example, the ban on catching of pigeons a dragnet, will lock carrying the armor, the ban of humanitarian activity on Jews will lock circulations on the sidewalk to two in a row. On August 30, 1944, troops of Allies entered Reims. After release of the city, the General Eisenhower located the headquarters in Reims. In Reims, in the Hall of Technical College. Now, Roosevelt's Lyceum. The German General Jadl signed the preliminary protocol on capitulation of Germany. On May 7, 1945, at 2 hours 41 minute. In which the German Supreme Command undertook to give immediately the order of army and to the fleet to stop active fighting on May 8 from 23 hours 01 minute on the Central European time and to remain at the positions taken by this moment. This date is expiration date of fighting in Europe. Every other day, on May 9, 1945, upon the demand of the Soviet Union, the second signing of the Act of Capitulation in Berlin by the General Field Marshal Wilhelm Keitel took place. This date is date of unconditional surrender of the German regime. After 1945, during the post-war period in Reims, as well as in many other French cities, projects on improvement of the city, the most significant of which were projects on building of working quarters, mainly in 1960-1970, were executed. Quarters of Wilson, Orgeville, Europe, Chetillans, Courrouge and others. In 1962, as a sign of the French-German rapprochement, Charles de Gaulle and the German Chancellor Conrad Adenauer took part in reconciliatory service in Reims Cathedral Church.
On September 21, 1996, the Pope John Paul II visited a cathedral church of Reims within commemorating of the 1500th anniversary of a baptism of Ludwig of I. At the 112th Air Base, it served a Massachusetts at which there were more than card people. Economy In Reims, the headquarters of the largest houses of sparkling wines is located. Ripening of sparkling wine happens in the numerous tunnels and emptiness located under the city. Also in the city, the Lord Aircraft Building planned Reims Aviation releasing special purpose light airplanes on the basis of two engine Cessna 404 by request of government services of France and other countries of the European Union is located. Transport and Communications Reims was constructed on border of concentration of the public authorities of the power of France centralized in the region Isle de France at the beginning of transport ways to Belgium, Luxembourg and further to Germany. Reims is located on crossing of three highways. Route also known as the English Highway, which is a part of the big Parisian ring begins in Calais and comes to an end in Troyes. Route, the East Road, which is connecting Paris to Strasbourg and passing through Metz. Route, Ardennes Road, which goes in charleville mezier and further to Belgium. On November 23, 2010, the Southern Bypass Road was put into operation. The first public transport in Reims appeared in 1872 during creation of two lines of an omnibus on horse draft. The first line passed from the north on the south, the second from the east on the west. The popularity of such transport caused the subsequent creation of the third line. Nevertheless, since 1881, the city transport began to give way to trams on horse draft which served four routes. By 1890, 3 million passengers were served, taking into account that the total number of the population of Reims then didn't exceed card people. At a turn of the 20th century, the horse draft was succeeded by the electrified tram. The tram network destroyed in the years of World War I was restored in 1920. The first buses appeared in Reims in 1932, and they gradually forced out trams. The last trip of the tram was sent on April 15, 1939. In 1952 the transport company of Reims changed the status and transports or Baines de Reims began to be called. By 1975, the network of routes already covered all areas of agglomeration of Reims. Bethany, Basin, Cormanry, St. Price Corsal and Tankio. Throughout the second half of the 20th century, the transport network and a bus fleet was modernized. In 2005, 172 buses passed distance of 7.7 .7 million kilometers and served more than 30 million trips. Today, the city transport network is known under the name of Satura. It has 23-day routes and 10-night routes. In 1980, an unsuccessful attempt to return streetcar service to Reims was made. Nevertheless, in 2011, this event after all took place. Extent of tram network is 11.2k now. On two lines, 23 stations are located. One of lines connects the central station in a historical part of Reims and the new TF station in the suburb of Basin. The transport network Satura and tram lines are operated within model of public-private partnership by concession society, Mobilite Agglomeration Remos. Mars. Railway transport. In the territory of the city, three railway stations are located. 
before all others the central station in 1858 was built. Local trains of regional network Terrace Champagne Arden and partly Terrace Picardie connect dreams with the cities of Amiens, Cambre, Chalon and Champagne, Charleville Mazier, Chateau Thury, Dijon, Epern, Lafert Millen, Metz and the Sedan. There is no through traffic to the second largest city of the region, Troyes. To travel by train between these cities, it will be required to make low convenient change in Kielmon or even in Paris. The regional network terrace serves some routes by intercity buses. Since 2007 through Reims there passes the line of the high-speed trains TF thanks to which time in way between Reims and the Parisian East Station is 45 minutes. The high-speed trains TF also stop at the Champagne Ardennes TF station located in the suburb of Basin and connected to the center of Reims tramline B. The Reims Maison Blanche station is located near City Hospital in a quarter of Maison Blanche. A new railway French Desperate platform put into operation in October 2009 which construction cost 3.2 million euros is considered the third station. On October 30, 1908 Henry Farman, on the biplane Voisin, executed long-distance flight, the first in the history of aircraft. The pilot in 20 minutes overcame distance in 27 came between Reims and military camp to Chalon and Champagne. In the second half of the 20th century in the northern suburb of Bethany the region's first civil airport, Reims Champagne, was open. The airport had ambiguous history and after several attempts to save its existence on June 30, 2006 it was finally closed. Since that moment Ardennes de Paris, Battery Airport located in 50 km from Reims remained the only passenger airport in the region Champagne. Nevertheless, Reims supports the airfield of Reims, Prunay, located in the southeast of the city. Two media libraries and a number of libraries from which the largest Carnegie's library work in the city. The following educational institutions work. The Champagne Ardennes University. Business School, Institute of Spatial Planning and Environment at the University of Reims. The Higher School of Applied Informatics. The Higher School of the Fine Arts and Design. Sport. Stade de Reims, club eminent ones, the numerous champion of France in soccer. Since this season 2012-2013 club participate in the French League 1 again. Historical legacy and cultural actions. In the territory of Reims there is a large number of the historical monuments classified by the corresponding categories and in the city the active policy of saving of the material and non-material historical property is pursued. Reims deservedly received the national status of the City of Arts and History. The Most Ancient The Third Century Ad a city monument to the Arch of Mars. Called so in honor of the Roman god of war of Mars which temple was nearby. The construction represents a triumphal arch 33 meters wide and 13 meters high. Three flights. Three religious constructions of Reims are included in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List since 1991. Reims Cathedral by which Taos in 1999 more than 13548 visitors rose was built in the 13th century and ministered the place of a crowning of the most part of kings of France. To the palace, the former residents of Archbishops of Reims were in the run-up to the coronation celebrations many French kings stopped. 
It is constructed at a turn of the 15th, 16th centuries and reconstructed at first during Louis XIV's era, and then after the fire on September 19, 1914. The former royal abbey of St. Bromidia joining a basilica where it was stored sacred steplianets by which Miro it was used in a ceremony of a crowning of kings of France. Other remarkable religious constructions The St. Bromidia's basilica constructed in 1007 and which celebrated the millenary in 2007. The church St. Jacques which remained in Reims the only pre-revolutionary parish church. Church St. Maurice, Old Chapel of College of Jesuits. The former College of Jesuits built in the 17th century is classified as a historical monument. Visitors in 2002. St. Clothilda's Basilica. Fujita's Chapel. In Reims there are several museums. The most ancient is probably the Museum of Fine Arts that on the street of Rue Chanzi, founded in 1794 for an exposition of the values confiscated during the revolution. St. Denis moved two buildings of the former abbey in 1908. It represents the collections reflecting all main directions in art existing from 15th to the 20th century. To the present day in the right wing of the old building of College of Jesuits, the mayor's office represents works of regional fund of the modern art. The region Champagne Ardens. Here the collection from more than 600 works of the modern art, painting, photos, sculptures, drawings, video and audio works is presented. The Museum Mansion Le Vaudier on the area of Place du Forum is the Museum of Old Dreams to which expositions the works dated from times of a classical antiquity to the 20th century, for example 50 engravings of old Brecht Dura furnishings of Asian style of the 19th century from a collection of the French traveler Google craft which were before in the property of the owner of the mansion are presented. The museum seen Remy located on Simon Street in the depth of ancient Benedictine Abbey is devoted to history and archaeology of Reims. Included in the World Heritage List adjoining a cathedral church, the, the palace gives the chance to learn history of a monument and quarter where it is located. There is an important national collection, a royal treasury of a cathedral church in which the set of the objects used in a ceremony of a crowning of the King Charles X is represented. One more historical museum is the Museum of Capitulation in which building on Monday, May 7, 1945, the Act of Capitulation of the Third Reich was signed at 2 hours 41 minutes. The Museum of Gods in Reims, which is managed now by Association of Collectors, has the fifth most important collection of cars in France, which included exhibits since 1908 and up to now, including a collection of the automobile designer Philippe Charbonneau. Old models are especially remarkable. Generally French automobile brands such as Peugeot, Renault and Citroën are submitted. A special exposition devoted to the Daxi on Morn, when drivers from Paris were engaged in delivery of military freights is prepared for the 100th anniversary of World War A in the museum and made the contribution in a stop of approaches of troops of the German Empire. There are sections devoted to mopeds, motorcycles and even to children's cars. As for astronomy, in Reims is available only in the region Champagne, Ardennes Planetarium which annually accepts over 27000 visitors. In 5 km from Reims there is a memorable place of times of World War I, the Museum of a Fort Pompel. In this place, the Russian soldiers of the forward in case battled. In the museum, there is the Russian exposition where documents, arms, and a uniform of the Russian crews are submitted. 
before the building the memorial plate from the foreign military organizations is established and the Russian national flag flutters. In the Museum of Air Base 112 in Bethany's commune, the history of development of aircraft in Reims and its vicinities is presented. Reims at Cinema Several movies A certain stages were shot in Reims and its vicinities. The Man and the Woman, 1966 of the director Claude Lelish, with the new game and Jean-Louis Trintignan in leading roles. In the middle of a picture several scenes of start of a local stage of the Rally of Monte Carlo, at the end of 1965, most likely in the Boulevard Boulevard de la Paix are shown. Scandal 1967 of the director Claude Chabrol, with Maurice Turon and Anthony Perkins in leading roles. Wine cellars where the film was shot belonged to the Pomery Company. In Reims, Queen Margot, 1994, of the director Patrice Gero. Shooting took place in Library of Old College of Jesuits. Beloved, 2011. Of the director Christoph Honor, with Chiara Mastroianni and Catherine Denyov in leading roles. Shootings of a tape partially took place at the railway station of Reims and at the northern cemetery of the city. Festivals and cultural actions. Reims takes part in the National Cultural Night of the Museums, the European Days of Cultural Heritage, Day of Music or Summer at Movie Theatre Projects. Every May in the city there takes place the Brut de Scene Festival where the achievements represent amateur theatres. Since 2003 there takes place the Festival of Electronic Music Electricity. Every June the great number of guests comes to Reims in days of the festival of Joan of Arc and also in days of the International Les Sacres du Folklore Festival which represents every year 10 folklore dancing or music bands from all corners of the world. Passes since 1981. In November there takes place the Jazz Festival in Reims. Natural Sites In Reims there are 82 parks and 14 children's playgrounds, on set of the borrowing more than 220 hectares. Three gardens in Reims have national classification and outstanding garden. Garden of Plants of Pierre Schneider Boulevard Louis Rodera Garden of Hills Saint Niquez Boulevard de Anchor Champagne Park Earlier Pomery Park General Jaro Avenue Visitors can use five pedestrian routes, one of which is devoted to the trees growing in Reims. Gastronomy Sign product of all region Champagne Ardennes is, of course, sparkling wine Champagne. Reims, together with the city of Epern, is the business center of the branch of sparkling winemaking. Though in the metropolitan area of Reims there are a few vineyards, about 50 hectares, in the city the set of winemaking houses of sparkling wines which have vineyards outside the city, in particular in the winemaking region of Montandie Reims is located. The houses of sparkling wines presented in Reims export annually at least 80 million bottles of wine. From among great houses of sparkling wines in Reims are Henry Abel, Lanson BTC, Charles D. Kazanov, G. H. Martel and Olorado, Mum, Henriette Krog, Louis Roderer, Piper Heidseek, Charles Heidseek, Ruinard, Tatinger, Vuv, Clickwood and Pomery Group. 
in Reims the Union of Winemaking Houses of Champagne, the oldest public association of winemakers of Champagne is also located. Under the city there are over 250 kilometers of wine vaults. In the district of Reims not sparkling wine under Aos the Coteau Champenois brand is also produced. Along with champagne, a gastronomic emblem of Reims are pink cookies. The recipe of its preparation was thought up about 1690 when the idea to bake dope twice came to the Reims baker to mind. It flavored cookies by means of vanilla and pink color which was required to hide black parts of vanilla pods turned out thanks to dye to a carmen. By tradition cookies are lowered in a glass with champagne. A half of all produced pink cookies is baked by the Maison Fossier Company, another half is baked in total by small bakeries and candy stores of Champagne. Reims is famous for long confectionery traditions and among original Reims products it is possible to call which is baked in Reims since an era of the Middle Ages, marzipans and other. Among confectionery it is also necessary to mention original ginger breads which bake in Reims since the 16th century. At the time the Reims Hobo Picard had own guild other than guild of bakers and confectioners. In the encyclopedia of 1783 the Reims ginger breads are called the most dear. The original recipe included rye flour, honey, it is a little cinnamon and pepper. Despite the competition to the Dijon gingerbread which amplified in the 19th century the Rhymes gingerbread was made and consumed in considerable volumes up to the middle of the 20th century. After World War II production of gingerbreads in Rheims declined and now practically stopped. France manufactures mustard not only in Dijon. In Reims she is trained on the basis of the Reims vinegar and spices. In the 19th century mustard from Reims. Today the Reims mustard is produced only by the house of Charbonneau Brabant under the Clovis trademark. Also this only enterprise today which is constantly producing the Reims vinegar. The feature of the Rhymes vinegar is that it is produced from the residue taken at the scourge of wine before secondary fermentation. This vinegar differs in amber color. As for meat products, regional feature is the Rhymes ham. The famous theorist of French cuisine Joseph Favre considered it one of the best vetchen of France, along with Bayensky ham. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.